is going. Perfect. So it's recording. All right. Um, happy Tuesday, everyone. Uh, welcome to GDG Cloud Edmonton Ask Me Anything series. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in. My name is Wen Fei, and alongside with me is Xin Li, and we are the hosts uh, for today's session. And as mentioned in the last uh, week announcement, uh, for this week, our, our topic is uh, career path for uh, developers. And today we are very happy to have uh, Le Yuan join us as the guest. Um, so Le Yuan has a rich and diverse work experience as a developer, as an entrepreneur, and also a uh, consultant. So uh, Le Yuan, why don't you give us a, a short um, self-introduction so that everyone can uh, know you better. Sure. Uh, thanks, Wenfei and Shindi, for having me tonight, and uh, pleasure to meet everyone. Uh, it would be nice if we can meet like in person, but I guess this is the best what we can do for now, right? So uh, my name is Leon, and I graduated from U of A in 2014. Uh, since I didn't do a very good job studying uh, during universities, uh, I had like a very hard time finding jobs. So I started to be an entrepreneur, like just doing websites for for restaurants. Uh, I did one for a Chinese restaurant. I did one for a uh, re uh, for a cafe near near the campus. And uh, then I from, found my first like job as a software developer. It's in a startup uh, around like a one four street uh, Jasper Avenue. It's called Login Radius. Worked there for about like twelve months, eighteen months, and then I went to another startup called Jobber. Worked there for another like twelve, eighteen months. Uh, then I went back to U of A to finish my graduate study. Uh, and uh, as a co-op term, I started my new career as a data uh, engineer did slash data scientist at Deloitte in Toronto. That's how I kind of like moved here uh, and then worked there for another like say a year. See, like I switched up pretty frequently. Uh, recently, I went to a, my, my like uh, current company called Manual Life. It's, a, it's an insurance company. Uh, as a uh, NLP data scientist for like just processing text, getting insights from from data. Fantastic! Thank you for the uh, self introduction, Lo Yuan. So, um, so, so, so we we received some questions from the uh, Google form we sent out. Uh, so the first question here for you, uh, Lo Yuan, is that um, what are the possible career paths for uh, developers or for people who who are, who are with the uh, uh, programming uh, background. What are the possible career paths? Sure, uh, I think the 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 uh, three kind of like roles that I took are are pretty common ones. Uh, but I just like I I believe in people, right? So no matter if what kind of background you come from, you can become whatever you want. So if you want to run for like president one day, you have uh, me voting for you. Uh, so uh, that's no problem, but I think in general, like software developers would be the majority, like the major options. Uh, and then, right, like these days, we see uh, a surge of demands in data positions. So uh, like data analysts, data scientists usually require uh, quite uh, extensive like programming background as well. So that's where like software developers are, are good at. So I think data kind of related positions are also options. Entrepreneur is like a little bit more mixed, uh, but yeah, it's always like something you can do on the side or uh, yeah, so just like go for it. Perfect. Shinny, I know you are also having a, um, a programming background kind of, right? So do you have anything to add? Uh, I think uh, Le Yuan has a, a really good uh, uh, introduction to the overall idea to the career path of a developer. Uh, from my own experience is uh, no matter you've been a SDE or a data science or a PM, which is a pretty normal uh, career path, common career path for a developer, that is you need to know about yourself and uh, what what's your person, person, personal uh, characters, what kind of job. Are you fitting to? Are you more, uh, you know, like a personable person, or a more, uh, you know, uh, just want to spend the whole day uh, sitting in front of uh, in front of a computer? So I think uh, every career path is really, you know, a personal choice. But uh, before making the choices, is to know about yourself and uh, know your strengths and the weakness. Yeah, I totally agree. I I, I I can very well resonate with that. Um, I mean, my background is actually 
um, a uh, engineering PhD, but I'm doing uh, business right now. So yeah, I, I, I totally get it and, and, and I totally agree. Thank you. Thank you for the points. Um, so the second question um, is that um, for each one of the career path for developers, what are the pros and cons? So for example, if you go with the traditional, um, you know, software engineer role, uh, so, so what are the pros and cons? And if you go with the other paths, so what are the pros and cons? Mm, yeah, so that's an interesting question. I think the distribution of skills require a little bit different. That's like the data science kind of like mind talking. Uh, so yeah, as Cindy mentioned, like uh, as a dev, you mostly you, you kind of like zone in into your own kind of like a world. Uh, you have your own functions that you need to add. You have your own bugs needs to be fixed. Might be a part of a product, might be a part of like functions. So uh, yeah, that's usually like, that's at least how I spend my day at, at the startups. Uh, sometimes we, we wear the uh, customer success people hats. We talk with customers, telling them why the functionality kind of broke, why it's so hard for us to not like introducing bugs version by version. So that's kind of like a dev role, right? And then um, like right now I'm more on the like a consultant side. So it's more like PowerPoints, talking with people, talking with businesses, gathering their challenges and uh, trying to use data or something else to, to solve their problems and trying to like tell them why they should pay us to get the job done, why it's not something that they can solve by themselves. So that's kind of like what we do as consultants. So uh, so it's more like talking, presentation, uh, these kind of like uh, things require, but also you need to have the skill sets to to actually, after you get the you get the job, you need to uh, deliver the, uh, the solution, right? So uh, that actually requires like some hard skills as well. Yeah, definitely. So, so Shimi, you are working um, with the uh, government um, right now, right? So I guess, um, I mean, as a program engineer, uh, sorry, sorry, a software pro uh, uh, engineer, uh, if you're working with a government or if you're working with a private sector, uh, I, I guess that, that will be the same, right? So Shinny, uh, would you mind sharing some, um, like uh, your thoughts on working with a uh, government as a uh, program, sorry, a uh, software um, engineer or, you know, programmer? Uh, sure. I'm actually also working on the uh, data science side, and I work for uh, federal government uh, from uh, for a, about uh, two to three years now. So from my own experience is that uh, because I'm in a, a very research driven institution that under having some domain knowledge uh, is 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 helpful, uh, but for in terms of like um, uh, stats and uh, the programming scales and the programming platforms are really transferable. So, and for the differences for working in a, a government organization um, and between the a private sector, uh, I think the biggest difference is that um, uh, depends on are you working for, for the private company, if you're working for a, like a startup, or a big name, that's also a really different. So in generally, I think uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's actually, I don't have a lot of experience working in the private companies. So I think there are a few benefits of working in the federal government as either a SDE or a data analyst is that um, the environment is really friendly and you have a pretty, uh, clear and uh, uh, stable career path, especially if you're classified into some uh, into some category, you have a pretty clear uh, path for how you're gonna progress you, uh, your career. And also uh, because uh, government that uh, is, everybody is uh, pretty friendly. So the uh, environment is really uh, chill. So that's something that that from my own experience, it might not apply to uh, in general. So if speaking of like private companies, maybe Le Yuan has more uh, thoughts. Le Yuan, you have anything to add on working uh, in the private sector? Uh, I think Sini had a uh, very good like summary of like the differences. I guess just one thing I want to add if we want, we're talking about like say consultants versus like software developers, 
uh, consultants usually there are lots of like people management, expectation management, and also uh, like just like chaos management, right? There are so many meetings, so many clients. Sometimes you need to uh, go traveling like four days a, a week. And that's not happened a lot for data science consult, but for more for general consultants, like traditional consultants. So those are like something that like usually software developers don't uh, handle, but uh, yeah, after you get used to them, sh should be okay. Fantastic, thank you. And the last question I have right here is that, um, how, how, how did you know which path will work the best for you? And how can you prepare for that? Yeah, it's a, it's a tricky question. I guess uh, I wouldn't be able to know unless I try it. Uh, I guess you can always talk with people, uh, code message someone on LinkedIn, just uh, ask, ask them what does it feel like uh, working as a, as, as a, a X role, but uh, I guess you wouldn't be able to know it until uh, like you really get like hands on it, get your hands dirty on it, and really experience both the, the the best and the worst for that kind of like position, and then you'll be able to tell like if you really think you can you can uh, if you like it or not, right? So I guess my my suggestion would be just try it. Um, definitely depends on how what's the cost, but yeah, usually my my concept is just like trying it. Yeah, thank you for the uh, information. And I totally agree. Like uh, for for career development, it's it's not like fixed or set um uh, um thing for everyone, right? It's it, I mean it might be changing. And as you mentioned, I I, I think some uh, services, for example, at the University of Alberta, can be very helpful. Uh, if you are a student uh, at the university, so they have like job shadowing. Uh, opportunities and, and, and mentorship programs you can uh, participate so that you can you can gain more understanding and experience uh, from from the current uh, 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 professionals so I think that would be very helpful if you are uh, planning and thinking about uh, which career path you should choose um, perfect so I have all the questions here uh, so so do we have any questions we can take one or two more questions from our audience um, do we have any questions from our audience? Um, actually, if you don't mind sharing, uh, I am a student to the software engineering field. Um, so a lot of my learning so far has been self-guided. Uh, um, and I will be starting a master's very soon. I was wondering if you would point to any specific resources that you're like, I wish I knew this four years ago or five years ago, this is one thing I'd done to push myself forward. Like one specific resource, a book or joining a channel or something like that. Anything that just pushed you over that edge or that hump that you were like, whoa. Mm, is it more on the software development? Um, uh, so my focus, uh, yeah, actually software development, that's accurate. Sure. Uh, I think one book that I would recommend is called Clean Code. So okay. that's a that's a book uh, talking about how you write clean code. Pretty much, uh, it's talking talking a lot about like say uh, uh, like naming patterns or like uh, why it's important to refactor. Uh, I had that book, but I, I lent it to someone else. But yeah, I think that book is really helpful, very well, well written. Um, so that book, I think every software engineer uh, should should read it. So that's one book that I would recommend. I'm trying to find another book that I had. Uh, let me take a quick Google search. Uh, yeah, I think the other one is just talking about uh, what's the what's the correct uh, what's the uh, correct uh, mindset for a top engineer. So basically, what's your view? Or like, what should you take on tools, uh, time management, and uh, mm -hmm. like the evolving technologies? I think that's another like book that I would definitely recommend. Uh, just having a hard time remembering the name. Probably like send it to to you later uh, after I found I found it. Sure, that's all right. Thank you. Yeah, I have one quick thing to uh, to to add. So, uh, uh, is your name uh, Sharyar, right? Yeah, Sharyar. Yeah, Sharyar. Yeah, yeah, thank you for tuning in. So, uh, I have another quick qu uh, quick suggestion, which is that um, talking with more uh, professionals. And then ask questions uh, uh, to them, and then you can get some, you know, thoughts and uh, perspectives from them, so that you can plan accordingly for your future career, right? And uh, 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 I mean, here I would like to recommend you to join us, GDG Cloud Edmonton. We have many experts here, so 
uh, they are free to uh, connect with you and provide some feedback and you know suggestions to you on your career development. So feel free to reach out to us and join us if you are interested. Uh, that sounds awesome. I am actually writing this down. I will probably do that after this call. Yeah, sounds good. Perfect. All right. So uh, if there's no further questions, I think that's the session for this week. Thank you, uh, Le Yuan, again for joining us. Uh, and thank you very much for your um, uh, thoughts and the perspectives uh, you, you, you provide to our audience. And uh, thank you very much again. All right. See you all yeah. uh, next week. Take care. No problem. Thanks nice for week. having me. Okay. Have a good evening. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.